Hello my friends, welcome back. If we haven't met before, my name is Shannon and this is Yoga with Shannon, my channel. And today I'll be sharing a yin yoga practice for anxiety. So if you're ever feeling wobbly or you have some sort of anxiety in your belly um, and you're not really sure what you need, then this would be a really great practice for you. So I'll hold the postures for a couple of minutes each, but you're always welcome to pause the button and hold the postures for as long as you want, maybe sort of five minutes each. And uh, so let's get started. So the first pose we're going to come into, and before I actually keep going, um, I just wanted to mention it's always good to have a couple of blocks for yin yoga and maybe a couple of cushions. I'm sitting on two and maybe even a little blanket and you can always dress warm, wear some socks, wear a sweater as your body cools down. So right, let's get started. So we're going to come into a forward fold and I'm going to show you a few variations. So if you have a lower back that is very tight and you get lower back pain, it can always help to sit on a cushion or a folded blanket for any forward folds. So we need to take care of our body when we forward fold. So the, the, the forward fold, the standard forward fold is caterpillar with the legs straight and then you literally just fold over your legs. Now for some people it's very easy to just fold all the way down and that's no problem at all and they just have their head on their shins and they feel really great and will feel a stretch in the back of the legs. However, if you have a tight lower back, you can uh, always modify the pose. So you could have your feet falling out to the side a little bit and your knees soft. And then you just fold forward. And just let your spine round naturally we're not pulling in any way, we're not using our muscles, so we're not pulling ourselves down. We just fold into the pose and then let go. So we'll be here for a couple of minutes and find your edge in this pose. And if for any reason you want more support, you can always, um, you can always use, for example, you can use blocks or books and rest your head, for example. Or maybe you want to support your, your legs slightly or even having your legs straight with a block under your knees is another possibility and then fold forward. And then you could also have a block under your head. So lots of possibilities. So as you fold forward here and surrender into the pose, become aware of your inner world. Feel the sensations in the body, settle into stillness and be really curious about how you experience the pose in, physically.
Take two deep breaths here. Exhale through your mouth. And then gently unwind, using your hands to just slowly push yourself up. Bring your head up last. And place your props to the side. Always taking your time in between the poses. And then very gently come down onto your back. Pull your knees into your chest, squeeze your knees. Press your lower back into the mat and rock a little bit from side to side. And then drop your feet behind your buttocks and we're going to come into a reclining twist here. So we're going to extend our arms away from our body with our palms facing down. And then we're gonna press into our feet and raise our hips and then just place the hips to the left side. Then we're gonna gently drop our knees to the right side and adjust so that the shoulders remain on the mat. The knees can be stacked and the hips can be stacked. You can gaze up to the sky or you can turn your head towards your left hand. If you'd like to go slightly deeper on this twist, you can wrap the left leg over the right leg for a deeper twist. And then just settling here into this reclining twist. And again, just bringing your mind into connecting with your breath, feeling the quality of your breath, the rhythm of your breath, being really curious about the breath. And then direct your breath to the part of the body that has the most intensity. Take two deep breaths here. Exhale through your mouth. Then very gently release your legs and bring your feet behind your buttocks, adjusting your hips and gently hug your knees to your chest. Squeezing your knees close to your body and rock side to side. Beautiful. Drop your feet behind your buttocks. Extend your arms away, palms facing down. Raise your hips and place them to the right side. Again, you can either drop your knees to the left, stacking them, stacking your hips, 
adjusting your shoulders. Or you can wrap the right leg over the left leg, taking it into a slightly deeper twist. And then you can gaze up to the sky or turn your gaze towards your right hand. And just surrendering here, melting into the pose and bringing your mind into the physical experience. Be curious about the pose as it unfolds, noticing how the body feels and maybe it's a little bit different to the other side. Notice if you're holding any tension in your body, just surrendering, consciously letting go of any tension. And take two deep breaths. And gently, slowly releasing out of the pose. And bring your knees to your chest. Hug your knees. And then drop your feet behind your buttocks. And take your uh, left foot, cross it over the right thigh, and we're going to come into a glute stretch. So the glutes are the muscles in the bottom, in the, in the derriere, as they say in France. And then we're going to take our hands and we're going to wrap them around the shin of the right leg. So bringing the left hand between the legs, the right arm around, interlace your fingers and then slowly come all the way down. And just let the weight of your arms pull your right leg towards you, feeling that stretch in the left buttock. If for any reason that's not available for you, you can always interlace your fingers behind your thigh. And just make sure your whole upper body is resting, relaxed on the mat, from your head all the way down to your tailbone.
If we have emotions arising, we just let them arise and release from the body and notice them without labeling them. I like it, I don't like it, we just notice. Take two deep breaths. And gently release your arms, release your legs, and bring your knees to your chest. Hug your knees, keep your knees nice and wide, your toes touching, and just rock a little bit side to side. and drop your feet behind your buttocks. And this time we're going to change sides. So we're going to bring the right foot across the left thigh. And then again, interlacing, wrapping your arms around your left leg, bringing one right arm through the legs and the left arm around. Interlace your fingers, and then gently dropping all the way down. The whole upper body is relaxed from the crown of your head down to your tailbone. And again, if this is not available, interlace your fingers behind your thigh. And just marinating here, melting into this pose. And take two deep breaths here. <sighs> Exhale through your mouth. <sighs> Beautiful. And gently release your arms and release your legs. And then very slowly start to come up. Come all the way up onto your mat. So now we're going to come into a pose called banana and for that you will need um, maybe a block and a couple of cushions. So we'll have to, we'll just work with um, what works for your body. So I'm going to use a block and a cushion. So with banana, um, Sana, we come onto our, the side of our body and we rest our rib cage over our uh, props. So it needs to be high enough so that we create some kind of curve in the side body. So we bring our rib cage over the props, extend the arm away, 
Then rest your head down. You have to find a balance and it could help to bend the top knee just to find balance. And then resting your head on your arm and you bring the other arm over your head. And creating a nice arch in the side of the body. And then just relaxing here into the pose. And if our minds are very busy, it can help to close the eyes, to just go inward, feeling the pose, feeling the breath. And take two deep breaths here. <sighs> Exhaling through your mouth. <sighs> and then very gently release your top arm, bend your knees and slowly press yourself to come up. Beautiful. So let's change sides. So we can always have the block on any level. You can have the low level, the medium, or the high. And if you don't have a block, you can have books that are wrapped in cotton bags. And then you just find the right height for your body. And once you've found what works for you, come down onto your side, bring your rib cage over your props, and extend your arm away and rest your head on your arm. Maybe bend the top knee for balance and bring the other arm over your head. And just melt here into the pose.
take two deep breaths here. And gently release your top arm, place your hand in front of you and then bend your knees and gently come up. And then we're going to move our props to the side of the mat and come into Shavasana, our final pose. Coming all the way down onto the mat and just letting the feet be as wide as the mat, your arms away from your body, palms facing up. And just closing your eyes, letting go, letting your whole body rest. Absorbing the benefits of our practice. And slowly start to deepen your breath. Moving your fingers and toes. Rocking your head from side to side. Take a nice big stretch. And then very slowly roll on to one side and come up to seated. Thank you very much for your practice today. Thank you for sharing. Namaste.